Okay, let's start with the ratchet stop. This is week four, and the first part called the ratchet stop is uh, fairly easy. It's a one extrude. It's just basically you have to put in all the dimensional and geometric constraints. So look at every dimension. Make sure you understand what it's what it's talking about. Notice that uh, R stands for radius. Uh, remember that. Notice that they don't tell you where the center of the radius is. Uh, and because they don't tell you where the center of the radius is, that means it must be constrained somewhere else. So the endpoints of the radiuses must be constrained. And the endpoints are constrained by this point is constrained on this line. The other point must be constrained by being tangent to this round radius of radius 0.1875. Oh, by the way, this part is in inches. So if you didn't start your NX in inches, make sure that you, uh, you start over. So we have to make this radius here tangent in quadrant one. And also the bottom radius has to be tangent to this round radius here in quadrant three. So let's go to uh, extrude and we'll put this on the profile plane now this part in the book is not an isometric it's kind of an isometric it's not going to be facing quite in the same direction as when you make yours as an isometric so just to, to let you know uh, let's go pick a profile plane now we're gonna have a couple things we're gonna have a, a line here we're gonna have a circle and then we're going to have it attached by two arcs. So let's start with a let's start with a circle. We'll put it right at the center here. And typically, when you draw a circle, it puts it in diameter, and they're calling for a radius of 0.185. So we're going to put in 0.1875 uh, That'd be radius. So multiply it by two. And now we can zoom in. don't know how you read how you change the dimensions to be a uh, a smaller number the dimension text was large because it was expecting a larger file now that I've created a small file the next one might be better let's find out a circle Point one eight seven five times two. Yes. Well, that's one way to make it a little easier. Good enough. Let's zoom in. And let's put a line out about here somewhere. A point one six inch line. And click to drop it. And then we're going to draw an arc from this endpoint somewhere over to here. Point on a curve snap has to be on. That is that one right there. So it's on. Let's click to there. And then by moving this, you can make it tangent at the right side. See that circle and the, the line out? That's a tangent. If I moved it a little bit more up here, it would be tangent to the left side. You typically can't get a tangent to both sides, but we only want it tangent on the right side. And then from here to this, not snap to the center, snap to here, and then move this one. I'm just going to put it there. We'll give it a radius. So the top one is a radius of 0 0.56. 0 0.56. And the bottom is a radius of 0 0.34. 
Now we're going to also want to do a dimension from here to this lower point, and that is 0.57, and the angle between here and this line is 40 degrees enter escape out of that and then we have to make this arc tangent down here so tangent this tangent to that and say okay with that there we go and what does this thing say sketch is partially defined what am I missing let's find out what I'm missing let's click and drag oh yeah we need the height so the distance from here to here is 0.125 so I guess that's one way to make sure it's fully constrained click and drag your points your endpoints and see if it moves finish it it's now fully defined so we finish it and we say okay I guess we can change that it should be 0.125 wide and fit it now it's not quite it's an isometric here it's not an isometric on the picture in the book so I'm going to rotate it and make it look the same close and then I can compare them if they don't look proportional I know I did something wrong okay that's part number one 